What's up YouTube, it's Mike. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of the 2022 Polygon Siskiyou T7 mountain bike, full suspension mountain bike. We're going to go ahead and put it together, we'll take it out of the box, show you what's in there, assemble it, and just talk about it a little bit. This is supposed to be a size large with the 29 inch wheel, so I'll go ahead and get it unboxed and we will get it in a bike stand. I ordered it last Thursday, today's Friday the 25th of March, I believe. Uh, so it took about a week to get here from Petaluma, California. It did get delayed one day because of weather. Um, wow, all right, awesome. We got a box of stuff here. We'll check that out. Warranty information. Wow. Let's just go ahead and we will take this right out. Oh. And uh, that is it for the box. Let's get this out of here. Looks like it's packaged really well. Wow, these tires are pretty gnarly. Love the color out of that. See if we can get you angled down a little bit here more. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bust off the zip ties and throw it in the bike stand. And then I'll be right back with you and we'll put this baby together. Alright, so we got the bike in the bike stand here. I did have to put the seat post on to clamp it in there, obviously. Um, but here is what you get in the box. Uh, you got a nice owner's manual up here. I'll show you that. It does come with all the tools to build it. A uh, little torque wrench. Pedal spanner wrench, looks like some bits, torque wrench, uh, free bottle opener, some pedals, cool, probably be changing those out, here's your little bottle opener, bicycle bottle opener, kind of cool, uh, then some reflectors, nonsense that we're not going to use. Uh, information about your shock. It does come with rock shock uh, front and rear. The front, I believe, is a 135 millimeter travel. The back's 140. Let's check out the manual here. Nice full color manual, kind of. Just has torque specs in there and how to assemble the bike. Um, so let's go ahead and get this cardboard off the fork. Okay, that's done. Your brake pedal looks like it's already mounted. Go ahead and uh, make sure you're subscribed. We're going to be doing some uh, upgrades on this bike in the form of uh, lightening it up. It comes in about 36 pounds, um, but we're probably going to go tubeless, put some carbon bars on it, grips, pedals, maybe change out the chain ring, uh, crank set. I think we're going to go ahead and do the bars first. Loosen up the bolts on that. This is a four millimeter, yeah. But it doesn't matter what way it goes on. And we've gone ahead and loosened up our axle here. We're gonna slide the brake pad separator out. do run boost hubs. Now obviously before the first ride you want to check your tire pressures. There's a suspension process that you have to follow. What you're going to do is you're going to put about 100 pounds in the rear shock and then you're going to cycle it about 10-12 times to equalize the chambers and then pump it up to whatever sag you prefer 20-30%. Uh, you can do the same thing with the front. Um, 
that's pretty much it. The gear should already be indexed. I'm gonna go ahead and get these pedals on. Show you how to do that. Pretty straightforward. And that is it. The Polygon Siskiyou T7 is together. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the bike stand, take it down, and I'll give you a walk around it quick. All right, guys, here it is put together, the 2022 Polygon Siskiyou T7. Love those colors, size large, 29-inch wheels. Uh, it's my first 29er and my first full suspension bike. So when I first sat on it, uh, I was like, whoa, it's a little bit big. I'm 5'10". I had to adjust the seat down uh, a little bit, but uh, I can see digging this. Um, go ahead and give you a close up the rear cassette. All Shimano Diore drive. Tires look meaty, insane. Here's a close up of the rear shock, uh, Rock Shock Deluxe Select Plus. Still got to fill that up with air. Has the lockout. Here's your top tube, cockpit, front shock is a rock shock recon, hydraulic brakes, front and rear, 180 millimeter discs, may upgrade it to 203, we'll see, we're definitely going to be doing some upgrades, I already got some carbon bars on the way, uh, Renthal stem, grips, ODI, Troy Lee's, my favorite design. But that's going to be it on the unboxing and assembly. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. As soon as I get those new parts in, we'll go ahead and install them. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.